Well, students, welcome one more time. Today we have a new topic. Today we're going to learn some new things. Welcome, welcome to the class. Welcome to the jungle. Okay. I want you to open your books. Here we have, I'm going to show you your classroom presentation tool in order to start with the class for today. The previous class, we were learning some new things, right? We were, we were learning about some classroom language. Then we were learning about some school, school uh, subjects, right? You know, the school subjects. Then we were learning about the simple present versus the present continuous. Yeah, remember, recuerda, ¿no? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el simple present y el present continuous? Pues, en que el simple present lo vas a utilizar para hablar acerca de o describir situaciones permanentes, ¿verdad? Para describir este, algunas eh, situaciones generales, ¿no? Mientras que el present continuous lo utilizamos para hablar o para describir o hacer referencia a este, situaciones o acciones que están en proceso, ¿ya? Que se están, eh, que se están dando en este momento, ¿no? Por ejemplo, I'm talking, yo estoy hablando, ¿no? You are listening, ustedes están escuchando. Entonces, eh, you have to consider that, ¿no? That's the uh, the meaning about simple present and present continuous. Yeah. Now we have to continue. We have to go to the next part. Let's see. I'm going to do something on this part. I'm going to do something here. Today we must learn. We must talk about something new. You are not allowed to. That's the topic for today. Yeah. Let's see. Now let's open your books on page number six. Okay, everybody open your books on page number six. Uh -huh. Estamos aquí, page number six, everybody. Yeah, recordarles nuevamente, chicos. Okay, les recuerdo nuevamente que tienen que encender sus webcams. Solamente se va a considerar la asistencia de los alumnos que estén con la webcam encendida. De igual manera, la participación. Yeah. Ok, la indicación también, chicos, es este... Eh, encender la cámara pero no estar pues enfocando a la pared ojo ¿ah? ya hay que tener en cuenta ese detalle uh -huh. the page number five we don't know oh yeah no this is an extra activity ya ¿eh? esto es una extra activity if uh, if you want to do something else yeah it's an, an extra activity we, I, I think we are going to do this in, after when we finish the unit. Yeah, no problem, no problem. This is an extra piece. We're gonna go to this part. Now, here we have this, not, the title says here, okay, I'm gonna ask, uh, where is the Jan? Oh, Mr. the Jan, my God, let's see who is here. Mm -hmm. Let me see, there it is, okay, vamos. Uh, Calderón, Veraún, uh, Andrea, Camila, no se olviden, ¿ah? tenemos que encender nuestras webcams, chicos. Jauregui, de igual manera, Jauregui, ¿ya? Let's turn on the webcams, encendemos nuestras webcams. Please, eh, I'm going to start with Camones. Camones, please, read the title, Camones. What says here? You're, you are not allowed to. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to. Excellent. Read this part, please, Camones. Interaction, provision and obligation. Excellent, that's right. Provision and obligation. This is page number six, okay? Yeah, let's look on page number six. That's the page, okay? We are in the student's book. Let's see, we have here the interactions. Here, for example, no, it says, do you always follow the rules? That question is for you. Do you always siempre sigue las, the rules, las reglas? Yes. Do you ever break rules? If so, when? Listen the conversation. What can the students do in the class? Here we have some rules for students can do in the class or something that they are not allowed to do. Yeah. Listen, please. This is the conversation. Lesson B. You're not allowed to. Page 6, Exercise 1, Interactions, Prohibition, and Obligation, Part B. Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here? Not at all. Go ahead. Thanks. I'm Justin, by the way. Hi, I'm Faye. Are you new in this class? 
Yeah, today is my first day. Hey, can we drink coffee in class? No, you can't eat or drink in class. It's one of the rules. Really? Good to know. Oh, and there's another rule. You have to turn off your cell phone. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Sure. Do you want to be my language partner today? We can choose our speaking partners in this class. Okay, thanks. Yeah, well, we have here a conversation, right? Aha, uh -huh. here we have some uh, rules in the class. They are in the class and they have some rules. For example, mm -hmm. can they drink coffee in the class? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Fernandez? Can they drink coffee in class? Hmm? Yes or no, Fernandez, Eric? What do you think? Can they drink coffee? Come on. Can they drink coffee? Coffee in the class? Yes or no? According to the conversation. No. No, very good. Thank you very much. No, can they drink coffee in class? No, you can't eat or drink in class. One of the rules. Okay. Mm, what about the cell phone, uh, Benancio? Can they use the cell phone in the class? Yes or no? What do you think, Benancio? What's the rule? Can they use the cell phone in class? Uh, okay, teacher. Can they use the cell phone? The cell phone in class? Can they use, can they talk by cell phone in class? Yes or no? No. Aha, uh -huh, no, right? They, they say here, you have to turn off, okay? You have to turn off the cell phone, turn off the cell phone, yeah? Okay, uh, another, another question. Can they choose a speaking partner? What do you think? Excuse me, uh, I'm gonna ask another student who is here, okay? Hey, chicos, todavía estamos con la webcam aquí apagada, Ventura, Pajares, Garay, Calderón, Veraún. Aquino, Kenji. Por ahí está Sánchez, José Flores. Están enfocando, no sé si es la pared, el piso. Ok. Vamos. Eh, I'm going to ask eh, Shari. Shari, tell me, Shari. Can they choose a speaking partner? Yes or no? What do you think, Shari? Hmm? Are they allowed to choose a speaking partner? Yes or no, Shari? What do you think? Yes. Yes, very good, Shari. No, it says here, we can choose our speaking partner, no, in the class. Yeah, they can. You know, can affirmative, right? Can't negative. Okay, now, here we have some uh, expressions, okay? Here we have some expressions. For example, you are gonna listen now, read expressions below, complete each box with similar expression from the conversation, then listen and check your answer. For example, you have here, no? You can't, this is to express prohibition, okay? Prohibition, for example, you can't. You can't eat or drink, no puedes comer. Or beber, no, you can't, no, here, you are not allowed to, es como decir, mm, no estás permitido, no, something similar to this, you are not permitted to, yeah, now, expressing obligation, this is when you express obligation, no, for example, you need to, this is obligation, no, you must, this obligation, no, for example, you need to, Enter to the class on time. No, tú necesitas entrar a clase a tiempo. No, you must follow the rules. No, 
Tú, esto es como decir, tú deberías, you must follow, deberías seguir las reglas. You must follow the rules. Yeah? Here we have expressing obligation. So, now, you are going to listen and then we are going to complete these two more. Pay attention. Part C. Expressing prohibition. You can't eat or drink in class. You're not allowed to eat or drink in class. You're not permitted to eat or drink in class. Expressing obligation. You have to turn off your cell phone. You need to turn off your cell phone. You must turn off your cell phone. Okay, then we have another obligation, right? And you use in this part, you have to, right? This is for expressing obligation to, you have to. Okay, now we are going to use these expressions to do this part, this activity. It says, letter D, look at the common signs, say the rules, take turns. Okay, we have here some signs, right? No parking, stop, and you look here, huh? these dogs on leash and speed. And you have to, you have to know which one express prohibition and which one express obligation, okay? For example, this, Ventura, tell me, no parking, is this expressing prohibition or obligation? Adriana Jalou. Oh. Mm. Prohibition or obligation? Prohibition. Yeah, prohibition, right? It's no parking, yeah? Uh, this part, uh, Kenji, is this prohibition or obligation? What about stop? Prohibition or obligation, Kenji Ramirez? Mm -hmm. Vamos, let's think, let's think. Mm -hmm. Vamos, Kenji, vamos, vamos. Tell me, what's this? Prohibition or obligation? When you have this sign. Mm -hmm. Obligation, bro. Obligation, very good. No, this is obligation. Yeah? Now, let's continue. Let's do this with uh, Camones. What do you think, Camones? Is this prohibition or obligation? Prohibition. Obviously. Yeah, prohibition, excellent. Now, Santiago, tell me, what's this, prohibition or obligation? What do you think, Santiago? Is this prohibition or obligation? Vamos, turn around your microphone and tell me. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm? Okay, you just have to tell me prohibition or obligation. No more, Santiago. What do you think? What do you think, Camila? Is this prohibition or obligation? Hmm? What do you think, Dolores? Is this prohibition or obligation? Look at the sign. What do you think? Yeah, you have two things here. Is it prohibition or obligation? Mm -hmm. You don't know the answer? Torres, Daniela, what do you think? This prohibition or obligation? Obligation. Obligation, right? Yeah. That the dogs on leash, right? This is an obligation. Thank you very much. Now let's see another student. Uh, this part I'm gonna ask. Mm -hmm. 
who can answer this part? Let me see, let me check. Ok, vamos a ver. Y hey, todavía seguimos con algunos students que están sin sus webcams. Ok, lo siento chicos. Allá la siguiente, yo creo que esta es la tercera o cuarta vez que estoy diciendo, repitiendo lo mismo. Ya, vamos simplemente ahora a retirar a los alumnos que están con las cámaras apagadas. Ya, ok, let's see. I'm going to ask here uh, another student who is here. Mm -hmm. Come on, please tell me, what do you think is this? Is this a prohibition or an obligation? What do you think? What do you think, come on? Hmm? Prohibition or an obligation? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Think, think. Is Camon is there? Where is Camon? Where is Camon? What do you think? Uh, Garay, is this a prohibition or an obligation? Speed 25. It's the obligation. Obligation, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now, you know this. Entonces, if you have here, you notice what's the prohibition and what's the obligation, you can do this. For example, no? for example, you say, you are not permitted to park. Okay, this is a prohibition. No, for example, in this part, you can say, for example, no, you have to stop, right? This is an obligation. You have to stop. Another prohibition, you can say, you are not permitted to escape. No, you are not permitted. Here, no, you need to have your dogs on a leash, right? This is an obligation. Here, no, you must speed. On 25, right? 25 per, per mile, per hour, 25 miles per hour. Yeah. Now we're going to do this activity, students. Let's go to this part. It says, no, first day at work. Okay. You have here the people at work. For example, you have to listen to Joel's co worker explain the office rules on his first day at work. Number the pictures from one to six. Okay, you have to look at this part, no? What is number one, what's number two, and what's number three? You have to number, yeah? What do you think is the order? Pay attention, pay attention. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the size. Okay, one, one more, yeah, there it is. So it's time to listen. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. I'm going to change the size of this. Yeah, let's start. You're going to listen and you are going to number, yeah? Page seven, exercise two, listening. First day at work. One. Oh, good morning, Mr. Brown. Welcome, Joel. I hope you enjoy your first day. If there's anything I can do to help, please just ask. Thank you. Um, I see you have your name tag. Did anyone mention the dress code to you? Dress code? Yeah, you can't wear blue jeans in the office. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. When I had my job interview here, everyone had on jeans. Oh, that's right. You had your interview on a Friday. We have casual Fridays when you can wear jeans, but we follow a smart casual dress code from Monday to Thursday. Two. Hi. Are you Joel? Yes. I am Clara. Welcome. First day? Yeah. I'm just putting some things away. Is that your cell phone? Yeah. Is it okay to use your cell phone at the office? Actually, 
You have to turn off your cell phone. That's a rule here. Oh, okay. I'll do that right now. Thanks for letting me know. Three. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Oh. Sorry. Did I scare you? I didn't know you were there. You know, you can't listen to music here. Even with headphones? No. What if your phone rings? You may not hear it. Good point. By the way, I'm Vicky. Four. Excuse me. Yes? Is it all right if I leave my cup in the sink for the cleaning staff to wash? No. You need to wash your cup. Oh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just one of the rules around here. By the way, I'm Scott. Five. Excuse me, Joel? Yes? My name's Amanda. I'm the office manager. Sorry to bother you. No problem. I'm just having my lunch. Well, that's the thing. You're not permitted to eat at your desk. Really? Yeah, that's what the kitchen is for. Beverages are okay, though. Oh, I didn't know. No one told me. Thanks for letting me know. Six. Your turn. Thanks. Uh, um, excuse me. Yes? You have to put more paper in the copy machine. It's one of the rules here. Oh, isn't there any paper? No, it's empty. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Um, where exactly is the photocopy paper? Okay, now we have to, uh, we have to number these, okay? I'm going to assign some colors and you are going to tell me here what is number one. For example, I'm going to color this uh, yellow. Yeah, okay, I'm going to something. I'm going to change this with something that you can notice, by the way. Yeah, yellow, we have yellow, we have red, we have uh, blue on this part. Yeah, we have blue. Then we have another orange, maybe here on this part orange. Then we're going to have pink. And finally, I'm going to assign this a uh, brown, okay? And you tell me, please, what is number one? Yellow, red, blue, orange, pink, or brown? Who knows? What is number one? Hmm? If you don't know, I'm going to start asking. Okay, let's see. Uh, Torres, what is number one, Torres? Yellow, red, blue, orange, pink, or brown? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Torres? What do you think, Daniela? What color is number one? Yellow. Mm -hmm. Are you sure, really sure that number one is yellow? Mm -hmm. What do you think, uh, Shari? What's number one? What do you think, Shari? Vamos, tell me, tell me, Shari, what's number one? Pink. 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 Yeah, very good. Number one is pink i'm gonna write here number one yeah the in the first part they say no welcome no they talk about the clothes yeah that's why number one is pink yeah now let me let me know please here what is number okay yeah here we have what is number two what color is number two hmm? Yellow, red, blue, orange, or brown? Do you have an idea? What color is number two? I'm gonna ask, okay? So, excuse me, uh, Dolores, Jocelyn, what is number two? Mm -hmm. 
yellow, red, blue, orange, or brown? You don't know? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think, Dolores? What color is number two? Let me see, let me check. Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ventura, what color is number two? Orange. Excellent, that's right. No, orange is number two because in orange, they are talking about the cell phone. No, they are telling that the rules, you can have your cell phone, you, you must turn off your cell phone, right? This is number two. Yeah, they talk about the cell phone, right? Now, what about number three? What's number three? Who knows? Hmm? Do you have any idea? What's number three? What do you think? What do you think? Let's see. Okay, Brown. What's number three, Brown? What color is number three? Yellow, red, blue, brown. Hmm? What do you think? Do you have an idea? Brown? Mm -hmm. What should be? What should be number number three? Yeah, you have here the options. Huh? You have the options. It could be maybe yellow, red, blue, brown. According to the sequence. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? What do you think? What do you think? Camones, Fernandez. What do you think? What's number three? Hmm? Number three, they talk about the music, they talk about the phone. Yeah. And what should be number three? Do you have the answer? Hmm? Okay, Fernandez, tell me the answer, Fernandez. What is number three? Yellow. Yellow, excellent, Yellow. right? Very good. They're talking about the music, no? He's with a headphone. They say, no, you can listen to music in, in this uh, here, right? Now, what is number four? What is number four? Hmm? The red, the blue, the brown. What is number four? No idea? Who can tell me the answer? What's the answer in number four? Mm -hmm. It's red. Are you sure? It's blue. It's brown. What do you think? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Number four, they talk about something to drink. In number four, they, you can listen that they are the kitchen, right? What should be number four? Hmm? What do you think? Any ideas? Nobody? Nobody? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, Fernandez, tell me, what's number four? Brown. Yeah, that's right, brown. They talk about the coffee, you know? They talk about that they, they have something to drink, that they have to wash the cup, you no? Know? This is number four. What about number five? What do you think? What's the answer in number five? No. Mm hmm number five is blue or red? What do you think? Red. Ah, right, red is number five, right? They talk 
they say that they can eat, right? Le menciona, you are not allowed to eat. You don't have, you don't, you can't have your lunch here, no? And finally, you know, number six, they talk about the photocopy, right? Yeah, they talk about the photocopy, number five, and they have to do this. I'm gonna write here, number six, sorry. Number six, they're talking about the paper, the photocopies, right? Okay, now, we have something else here. The next activity says, listen again, write the office rules. Vamos a escribir aquí, the office rules. What is the rule number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six? Okay, you are gonna listen to the rules, pay attention. Yeah, you have to write, huh? you have to write, you must write. Page seven, exercise two, listening. First day at work. One. Oh, good morning, Mr. Brown. Welcome, Joel. I hope you enjoy your first day. If there's anything I can do to help, please just ask. Thank you. Um, I see you have your name tag. Did anyone mention the dress code to you? Dress code? Yeah. You can't wear blue jeans in the office. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. When I had my job interview here, everyone had on jeans. Oh, that's right. You had your interview on a Friday. We have casual Fridays when you can wear jeans, but we follow a smart casual dress code from Monday to Thursday. Two. Hi. Are you Joel? Yes. I okay, what's the rule number one? Hmm? There is a prohibition in the rule number one. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. And you're going to tell me. It starts with you can't. Okay. I'm going to do this. You can't. It's something with a dress code. You can wear what? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? You can wear what? Hmm? You don't know the answer? Who knows the answer? Hmm? You can't wear what? You can wear sweater. You can't wear, what do you think? Hmm? Look, 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 at the, uh, look at the man. Look at the man, and you are going to notice that. You're going to notice something. They are telling you, you can wear something here. Mm -hmm. Do you know the answer? Nobody? They're saying something here in this part. You can wear what? Look. Look, for example, how is he wearing? No, look at the clothes. Look at the clothes. Him. And look at his clothes. And he's saying something, right? He's saying that you can't wear blue jeans. You are not allowed to wear blue jeans. Okay? Yeah? This is the rule number one. Let's go or let's work on the rule number two. Listen. I'm Clara. Welcome. First day? Yeah. I'm just putting some things away. Is that your cell phone? Yeah. Is it okay to use your cell phone at the office? Actually, you have to turn off your cell phone. That's a rule here. Oh, okay. I'll do that right now. Thanks for letting me know. Three. Okay, what's the rule number two? Mm -hmm. Have you listened? Yes or no? I'm going to help you. Yeah? It says with something with you have to. You have to. This is an obligation. You have to. What do you think? No ideas? Mm -hmm. 
you have to watch, you have to watch. You didn't listen very well. Hmm? It's, it has something to, to do with this. You have to turn what? You have to turn on or turn off. Hmm? You have to turn on or turn off. What do you think? What's the rule? Mm -hmm. Nobody? In this part, just say, you have to turn off your cell phone. That's all. You have to turn off your cell phone. That's the rule, right? That's the, the, the rule number two. What about the rule number three? Listen. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Oh. Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't know you were there. You know, you can't listen to music here. Even with headphones? No. What if your phone rings? You may not hear it. Good point. By the way, I'm Vicky. Four. Okay, what's the rule number three? It's a prohibition in number three. Mm -hmm. It starts with you can't. You can't what? In number three. Mm -hmm. Look, look, number three. What can you say about number three? You can what? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, number three says you can listen. Okay, you can listen to music here. Okay, that's the Prohibition in this case, right? You can't, you can't listen to music, yeah? What about number four? Let's check, yeah? You have to take care. Look, look carefully here, number four. Listen. Excuse me. Yes? Is it all right if I leave my cup in the sink for the cleaning staff to wash? No, you need to wash your cup. Oh. Okay, thanks. No problem. It's just one of the rules around here. By the way, I'm Scott. Five. Okay. What's the rule number four? Hmm? This is an obligation. What's the obligation? You need to what? You need to do what? Hmm? Do you know the answer? Does anyone know the, un the answer in this part? Nobody? Yeah, they say, look here carefully. No? He has something here. And he says, you need to... Uh -huh. Something with coffee? It's something to do with coffee? Not exactly. It says, you need to wash what is wash yeah you need to wash no you need to use iodine okay you need to wash what you need to wash your cup okay everybody no you need to wash your cup this is a rule right this is an obligation yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah could be your glass too fernandez no where is your glass too no problem if you use glass you need to wash your glass if you use a cup, you need to wash your cup, your cup, sorry. Now, let's see. Let's talk about rule number five. What says in rule number five? Okay. You, you need to observe. You need to observe in this part what's happening here, right? Excuse me, Joel? Yes? My name's Amanda. I'm the office manager. Sorry to bother you. No problem. I'm just having my lunch. Well, that's the thing. You're not permitted to eat at your desk. Really? Yeah, that's what the kitchen is for. Beverages are okay, though. Oh, I didn't know. No one told me. Thanks for letting me know. Six. Okay. What about rule number five? This is a prohibition, huh? 
This is a prohibition. She said, you are not what? You are not permitted. Yeah, this is a prohibition. You are not permitted to what? Hmm? What do you think? You're not permitted to what? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Torres, right? Yeah, very good, Fernandez. You are not permitted to eat. You are not permitted to eat where? At your desk. Okay, you are not permitted to eat at your desk. He's eating here in the desk. No, this is a prohibition. You are not permitted to eat at your desk. Yeah? Now, Let's see, let's see the rule number six. Let's listen to rule number six. Pay attention here. Your turn. Thanks. Uh, um, excuse me. Yes? You have to put more paper in the copy machine. It's one of the rules here. Oh, isn't there any paper? No, it's empty. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Um, where exactly is the photocopy paper? Okay. What do you think is number six, the rule number six? This is an obligation. And the obligation says you have to. You have to what? You have to what is the obligation? Mm hmm? You have to, in this case, they are talking about the papers. Look, look at here, no? And this is the machine. And he says, no, you have to, I'm gonna complete here. You have to put paper, no? You have to put paper on the photocopy machine, right? That's, the other rule that's the rule number six okay easy like that right easy like that it says that you have to consider on this part okay you know easy right now let's continue let's go to the next part what do we have here what do we have here let me see hmm? We are gonna continue in this part. Okay, now it says class rules speaking. It says make a list of five important rules your class like the one below. For example, no class rules you have here. You must raise your hand to speak. Okay, I'm gonna ask, uh, please, uh, Garay, read the rule number two. Read please, Garay. What's the rule? Mm -hmm. What about this? Vamos, vamos, Garay. Where is Garay? Where is Garay? Vamos. Let's read. Garay, are you there? Está ahí, Garay? Patty? Uh, vale, vale. You can't uh, set or read text me mm. messages. Well. Uh -huh. What about number three, Garay? What says here? A ver, Garay, number three, Garay, number three. You have. A ver, este. Me está tapando la ventanita, ahí no. Uh, you have este, to turn off your cell phone. Mm -hmm. You have to turn off your cell phone. Very good. Now, let's continue. Thank you very much, Karai. Now, uh, please, Camones. Number four, Camones. Yes, profe. Okay. Vamos. What's number four? Vamos, you are not, you just have to read. You are not permitted to chew gum, bubble gum. 
Okay, and number five, what's number five? You allow it to sit anywhere you want. Okay, very good, no? Here we have, there's are some rules. Now, you have to tell me another rule, an extra rule. Now, please, a Ventura, you tell me Ventura, what's an extra rule? Una rule que se aplica in the class. You must write your hand to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you, you must raise your hand to speak. Yeah, you can, we can use that for our classroom rule, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, let's see, we are going to go to the next part. Let me see. I'm going to assign you now a homework, yeah? Vamos to the homework part. Vamos al a la parte del homework, al workbook, sorry, que está de la mitad de su libro en adelante. Okay. Yeah, that's why, no, you must turn on your camera. That's another rule that we have in class. Yeah. Now let's see, let's see. I'm gonna ask another student. I'm gonna ask another student. Yeah, let's see. What do we have to do here? Vamos a hacer, esto les voy a dejar como homework, ya, como tarea, así que les voy a explicar en qué consiste. Dice, complete the chart with the sentence from the box. Tenemos aquí oraciones, ¿no? Algunas de estas son prohibition y otras son obligation. Entonces, ¿qué vas a tener que hacer? Vas a clasificar. For example, dice, you can use your cell phone in the office. This is a, a prohibition. Entonces, lo escribes aquí. Y ahora tenemos aquí obligation. ¿Cuáles de estas serán obligation? Todas las que son obligation las escribes en esta parte. ¿Ya? Now, what else? ¿Qué más nos dice aquí? Ajá. Complete the conversation with the correct sentences from the box. Entonces, ¿qué vas a tener que hacer? Vas a tener que completar, ¿no? With the, cor with the correct sentences. Entonces, tú ya tienes aquí la clasificación o ya ordenaste, ¿verdad? Prohibition y obligation. Y vas a utilizar estas oraciones para poder completar esta conversation, ¿ya? De acuerdo al contexto, de acuerdo al contexto, vas a tener que determinar, ¿ya? Cuál es este, um, alguna obligation o cuál es eh, a prohibition, ¿no? De acuerdo al contexto y vas completando, ¿ya? Así de fácil. Esta es para ustedes. Voy a apuntar aquí. You have, you have to do this, ¿no? Page number four. Para ustedes también es la página number four, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces vamos a poner aquí page number four, the activities one and two. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, I'm going to write here your homework. is going to be page number four, activities one and two. Two. ¿Ya? Ok. Eh, por ahí, la, la, la clase pasada, creo que Manuel, no sé quién me estuvo preguntando si en la actividad 1 había listenings. En realidad no hay listenings. ¿Ya? Hay que tener en cuenta esto, chicos. Cuando, cuando te dice listening, te dice listen and complete. No escucha, pero aquí no hay. Mira, las indicaciones decían look at the picture, complete the sentence. ¿No? ¿Qué más teníamos aquí? Check the correct sentence. Look at the schedule. ¿ver? Complete the text. Answer the question. Pero ninguna de estas decía listen. Recuerda, cuando te dice listen, es porque tienes ahí un listening donde vas a tener que escuchar y donde vas a tener que completar. ¿Ya? Talking about the homework. Hablando de homework. Este, hay alumnos que no presentaron su homework. Que es el caso de Campos Brenda. No presentó. Veraún, Kelly, Silvana, tampoco. Calderón, Astete, tampoco. Tampoco presentó Espinosa, tampoco presentó Garay, tampoco presentó Hidalgo, tampoco presentó Yemima. Yo no sé si Hidalgo está en, en la clase porque hasta ahora no ingresó ni una clase la, la señorita Hidalgo, ¿ya? Eh, tampoco presentó Garay, perdón, Leandro Poma. Este, tampoco presentó Quispe Ángela. Tampoco presentó Joe Ramírez. De igual manera, Ramírez, no sé si está en la clase porque ni una clase de inglés ha ingresado el jovencito, ¿ya? Y tampoco presentó a la señorita Lindsay Santa María, Lindsay Dayan, ¿ya? Entonces, eh, recordarles, chicos, todas las tareas son calificadas, ojo, ¿ya? Entonces, 
eh, alumno que está atento a la clase va a hacer sin ningún problema la tarea, porque básicamente el homework viene en referencia a las tareas que se dejan, ¿ya? Ok, entonces, este, eh, well, dicho esto, chicos, I want to tell you something, ya no se olviden, this is going to be your homework, de igual manera voy a subir esto a tu plataforma, ya, para que voy a activar, para que tú puedas este, ir cargando, ya. Ok, yes, profe. Solamente la página 2, the page number, sorry, the page number 4, la página 4, la página número 4. La Solo que... una página entonces, ¿no, profe? Yes, solamente one page. Solamente sí, profe, one page. Yeah, Don't worry, no problem. Mm, now, let me see. Here we have something to do, but I think we don't have enough time. Yo, no nos queda mucho tiempo como para poder avanzar la siguiente clase. ¿Ya? Yeah? But well, eh, la recomendación es de que ustedes en casita vayan repasando acerca de esto. The zero conditional. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, Básicamente la recomendación para esto es, chicos, que practiquen el present simple. Present simple versus present continuous. Lo primero que hicimos, ya, eso tienen que practicar y tienen que dominar. Si no, van a estar pataleando aquí en el zero condition. Ya, es como, es como decirles, ¿no? Primero hay que aprender a sumar para poder aprender a multiplicar. Ya, entonces, eh, la recomendación aquí es esta de aquí, ¿no? Hay que repasar lo que es el grammar, el simple present, present continuous. Yeah. Okay. Well, students, uh, before to saying goodbye, antes de decir goodbye, I think we have some minutes. Tenemos a, um, three minutes, exactamente. Thank you very much. See you the next class. Have a nice weekend. Buen fin de semana, students. Goodbye. See you the next class. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Antonio. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, students. Goodbye, sorry. See you the next class. Okay. Bye.